Well, legislature is on the home stretch to finish its work for the year and one of the big items passing a flat tax for Iowans at the rate of 3.8%. That's down from 5.7%. WHO 13's Roger Riley was talking to people about this today. He joins us live. Uh, Roger, what are you hearing? Well, Janae, uh, some are worried that this, that this reduction had, that the state had will not be able to support things that they have in the past for state government, and while others are glad that the tax rate is coming down. Now, this bill will put into effect 3.8% for the year 2025. According to Governor Reynolds' website, when she took office, Iowa's individual tax rate was just shy of 9%. As this rate comes down, some worry that traditional government services won't be funded adequately. You know, nobody wants to pay higher taxes, uh, you know, or, or people are, you know, uh, always wary of that. But then the question is, what don't you want to have happen? Do you want to have your kids crawling over 30 other kids in a classroom to get their teacher's attention because we can't because we can't afford uh, the kind of public schools that we care about? Do you want to be worried about the water when you turn on your faucet because we can't afford to do the, the kind of things we need, to, we need to do to keep our water, our drinking water clean? You let them keep more of their hard earned money. It's not like it takes it out of the economy. In fact, it does just the opposite and puts it more into the economy because instead of going into government to fund that way, uh, people tend to buy goods that, that uh, Iowa will collect sales tax on. Yeah, that's Tom Sands of the Iowa Taxpayers Association. He said he could see Iowa getting to actually no income tax, but it has to be done the right way. Now, Matt of Progress Iowa told me that he could see a time when the political pendulum would be swinging back the other way and Democrats would be winning back more seats in the House. So interesting uh, times to see what's happening here at the State House, and uh, not everybody's happy, of course.